Okay. And uh, I'll just again copy this over. Product. Numkin sweets. And, uh, biscuits. Uh, okay, these four. So I'll fill this up with numbers, just like we did the series. And uh, step value of let's say 1000. And my values are filled up. Okay. Now, normally when I'm doing a, a sorting, you can do sorting in different ways. One, you, one way to do the sorting is, you come here, click on the cell, Come to this sort and filter and say sort A to Z. So what will happen? This will get sorted alphabetically. Now, if I want this to be reversed, I can do sort and filter sort Z to A. So that means Z will come at the top, which is W, north, south, east, west, and then south first west then south then north then east so that is the reverse alphabetical order now if i want to sort the salesperson alphabetically i can again do it from here but again this gets a bit upset right see earlier it was all west all north all south so in this case I can do the sorting based on only one column at a time, right? So if I do the biscuits again, these two get spoiled. Now to overcome this kind of thing, now the simple sorting that we are doing, we can either do from here or we can go to the data tab and do it from here. I can click on this A to Z, smallest to largest or Z to A largest to smallest same way here smallest to largest largest to smallest now it might happen that i just don't want one level i want multiple level sorting for example i want all the data to be sorted by region by salesperson by product got it by region that means all my north data will come together all my south data will come together all my West data will come together. So for this, I will go to this sort, click on here, sort by, let's say region. And that one I want in reverse order, Z to A. I will add another level here, add by, and then I will choose the next one, salesperson, that can be A to Z. And if I want a third one product, I will say add level and make it product wise. And this can be again Z to A, let's say. So when I do this, now see what happens within West. So my data region is West. Within West, salesperson wise, this is getting sorted. And within the salesperson, I have the different product. Okay. Similarly, if you look to south, all the south data is together. Then the salespeople are one after another. And then we have the product. Similarly for North, 
if there are more than one product, then that will also get sorted. So let me just make this a little more complex here. Some of them I'll move to, let's say, Namkeen. And some of them, this one I'll say sweets, so that I get some mixture, okay? And chocolates, similarly here, some of them I'll make as chocolates, some of them as sweets. So same person, but different products, let's say. So if I now do this sorting again, I go to this sort box, click on it. I have different levels, region wise, then salesperson wise, then product wise. Region is reverse order Z to A. And then I say, okay. Now see, the same thing happens. West comes first, then salesperson alphabetically A to Z. And then product, chocolates, biscuits, namkeen, sweets. Now, what is happening here within Bijoy, these are getting sorted. How? They are getting sorted. In Z to A, that is why chocolates is coming first, then biscuits. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Sephora, okay. At any point of time, if I want to remove the sorting, I can delete it. Suppose I don't want the salesperson, but I want it product. Then the salesperson, the region will remain and then the product will be sorted. Nothing on the salesperson. Okay. All right. Now, this was about our sorting. Now, in some cases, what might happen, you may have done this vest and you did some coloring, let's say. Okay, you colored this in yellow. You colored the biscuits in green. You colored the sweets in orange. Okay, now when you do these kind of sorting, and let's repeat this sweets, wherever there is sweets, let's do the same coloring otherwise. And then we'll get this and maybe chocolates, we'll do some brown. Sir, can I ask you something? Yeah. Sir, if I want to, uh, uh, the figures here, that if oh. I high amount to low amount, if I want to yeah. change it. So I go to data, like I showed you, you have this A to Z, so it's now lowest to highest, and Z to A, it's highest to lowest. Oh, so figure also affecting yes, this option also. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, thank now, you. not only text and figures and numbers, it's also colors. That is what I'm showing you. If I want to do a sorting, I can do a sort on product. And then not just values, I can choose the cell color. And I can choose what cell color I want at the top. Suppose I want brown at the top and then I can add additional levels, product, cell color, and yellow. When I say this, so I get chocolate, then yellow, and then everything else. If I want all everything to be sorted, I can again go back here 
and add more levels. Maybe I want the green in between. So first the brown, then the green, then the yellow. Got it? So I can sort by not only values and text, I can sort by cell color, font color. I can also sort by cell icon. If you remember, we had a cell icon that we used on our uh, in our uh, conditional formatting class, right? So where we had said that if Let's say conditional formatting, and we have these values. Let's say, okay. Now, here there are some random values in between. So green take, then yellow, then cross, then again green, cross. Now I can do this as you would be knowing that we can go and just do the manage rules and hide off the numbers, right? So our numbers are now hidden. And if I want to do a sorting, I can go to the data sort box and then let's say I I delete everything and I want sort by status. Values can be my cell icon. So which one I want at the top? I want the crosses at the top. And then again, I want another one where I will get this status, cell icon, and I have this. So now see, First the crosses will come, then the exclamation marks will come, and finally the green takes will come. Got it? So what is that? If my data has headers. Headers means this is the header row. So it will leave it alone. If I don't do this, it will get sorted with the data. See now header will come somewhere in between. Okay. okay. Clear filter uh, sorting. No. Sephora, any question? No, sir. Okay. Now, next thing we'll do is the filter. Now, in the filter, filter is to do what? Filter is to remove some of the data or to use only a portion of the data. How do we do the filter? We click on the data cell and click on filter. And suppose I want to see only the fields or suppose I want to see only the product of chocolates, so I can deselect everything and select chocolates. So I will get only the chocolate values. Now I click on this. Suppose along with chocolates, I want sweets also. So I'll get chocolates and sweets in my data. Got it? Along with this chocolate and sweets, I also have region. So I can say, suppose I only want to see East, I will click this, East. Or suppose I want East and South. So I can see East and South. And salesperson, maybe I just want to see Ajay's data. So what is Ajay doing? He's selling sweets in East. What is Bijoy doing? Bijoy is selling chocolates in South. What is Kunjoy doing? Right? Simple. And I'm sure all of you would be, <clears throat> you must be using this already. To switch this off, you can click on the filter or you can click 
click on the clear. If you clear this, my entire filter goes away. Right? Now, I can also do, <clears throat> if it is a number, I can do some filtering based on some number filters like this, greater than, less than, between, top 10, above average, below average. System will do that for you automatically. For example, you want to see top 10. So top 10 items. So it will filter out rest of them and show you the top 10 highest values. Okay, clear this. Suppose you want to see below average. These are the numbers which are below average. What is my average here? Based on the average, it will do the calculation. Okay. Now, along with this, what Excel has done is, in recent times, it has introduced something called as a I'll first, uh, one minute, before I tell you, uh, I'll first convert this into a table. How do I make this into a table? I will select the data here and I can say insert table. Okay. So when I say insert table, what the system will do is convert this entire thing into a table. What is the advantage of a table? Advantage of a table is all this coloring and all this I can do very quickly without having to do anything manually. Suppose I like this color shading, I will use this and everything will get selected here. Sir, are okay. these color available in the print? Sorry? Uh, is this uh, modification will be available in print? I mean, the color changes. What you yes, have. yes. It is there provided by Excel only. Okay. And doing this table advantages, there is some like this it gets properly formatted and you can do different kinds of things here. And this is called as banded rows. Banded rows means alternative colors. If I don't want the banded rows, I can put banded columns. So alternative columns will be colored. This is colored, this is colored, this is colored. Okay, I can say last column. So the last column will be highlighted and system can put a total also. If there is a total row in the last column, system will put a total automatically based on the numbers. Okay. And uh, this kind of thing you can do. Along with this, advantage of doing a table is, suppose I don't have, I don't want to use a filter here. I can switch up the filters, right? How do I know filter is there? By this arrow. So if I switch up the filter, the arrows go, then I click on, here, when I click on the table, there is something called as slicer. You see this, insert slicer. So what does slicer do? Slicer puts a filter, but in a very attractive form. For example, this is called as a slicer. Three boxes with the values. Okay. Now, suppose I want to see biscuits. I will click on biscuits. My data will be sorted by biscuits. Filtered by biscuit. I want to see everything. I'll again click this. Suppose I want to see East. So all the East data will be displayed. I want to see Ajay, only Ajay data will be displayed. I want to see Kunjoy, only Kunjoy data will be displayed. 
Suppose I want to see Ajay and Kunjoy, then there is an option here to do multi-select, Mul means multiple values. So I can select Kunjoy and Ajay. Both will come here. I want Kunjoy also. Again, Kunjoy will come here. And along with sweets, I want, let's say, not or chocolates. I want, I get this. Are you following what is happening? My table data is getting filtered based on the on these what we call as a slicer. Got it? These slicers are very attractive if you put it on a dashboard or you put it on the top sheet as a summary sheet. You put it right on top and then you can play around with the values. For example, you have a smart table here. You want to do some kind of a summary and you can put it over here. You can put your filters over here and the table over here and the data will be filtered accordingly. We will see that when we do the, um, when we'll do the pivot table, then we will see the, Okay, then you will be able to see that that will be more effective as a summary table. Okay, now how do I remove these slices? I can highlight it, delete it. I can highlight it, delete it. I can highlight it, delete it. Okay, let me repeat that one more time. What did I do? I clicked on this table and inside there is a table tools design. I go to design and there is an insert slicer. Can you all see this? Inside insert slicer. I click on this. Suppose I want only one. I will choose this and say region. So it will show me like this. Now this is a vertical slicer. If I want, I can also change the settings of the slicer. Instead of one column, I can make it four column. So what will happen? It will become a flat structure like this. So depending on how you want it, you may want it vertical or you can want it horizontal your data will be displayed here. Got it? Yes. Now, Sometimes it is required that people will tell you, I only want the chocolate data. So what you do, we come here, we first do this, choose the chocolates from here, choose the entire data for chocolates, copy it and put it in another cell like this, chocolates data. Only the chocolate data has come here, right? Now, this is one way of doing it. There is another smarter way of doing it. Let me show you the smarter way, which we call as advanced filter or advanced. So here we will insert some rows. And let's say I copy the entire heading, paste it over here. Okay, now I want the data for chocolates only. So I will write here chocolates. That's it. After that, I come here, I select the entire data here. Okay, oh, this is my filtered data. 
no i don't want this i want the original one which had everything i think this is the one yeah this is the one i want everything okay so i'll just uh, go back and remove everything so i have everything let me quickly insert the rows here one two three and i'll copy let me copy the header put it here and i want only chocolates from my data so i'll write the word chocolates here then what i'll do i'll select this data so my entire data is selected and i go to this advanced filter here okay copy to another location what is my list range this is my list range what is my criteria this is my criteria and where should i copy it to i will click here let's say and then i say okay now see what happens the data chocolate data gets copied over without me having to do anything got it sir so i could I do that with uh, control x if i do this control x no no need of control x there so you are doing it from the data itself right if something goes wrong your original data will get messed up yeah so here what i am doing i am putting additional conditions here i'll do this again with let's say i want only not and chocolates so i can use multiple conditions so again here i will say control a which is my table go to advanced filter so this is chosen copy to another location <coughs> this is my criteria and copy to where copy to i can just select the first cell <coughs> say okay now see north and only chocolates have got copied here nothing else got it yes no so you can put multiple conditions you can put a condition of more than 10000 or more than 15000 also like this so only the data which is more than 15000 will be copied from here so if i click on advanced everything remains the same and i say okay so only the data which is more than 15000 amongst these but and if i don't want these then i can remove these also and then when i say advanced copy click here and say okay so all the data which is above my condition will be displayed sir mm. uh, why do i have to do this one? because i have already the data right here so i mean what's no, the no. point this of this is suppose you don't copy? have this suppose you don't have okay okay suppose i don't have this data i have my original sheet yeah now some of the data sheets can be huge so out of that doing a filter copying pasting can be a big task so instead what you can do you can come here this see this feature is there doesn't mean you have to use it depending on your situation you may want to use it you may not want to use it yeah 
So and first option is I'm going to select the entire range, right? So correct. And criteria range. So see, now my data has got selected. And only data which is more than 15,000 is coming here. Okay. No other condition is mentioned. Here. Okay. Clear, everyone? Any questions? Any question on this? Sir, um, the status uh, which you formatted from the condition formatting, uh, could you show the process once again? This we cross sign in, all this. We did it in conditional formatting, right? Uh -huh. Same same process. Okay. Okay. Any questions from your side, Sephora? No, sir. So what did we do today? I'll not prolong it, you know, it's getting late. So um, uh, we did data validation, okay? The normal one and the advanced one. Then we did the sorting, multi-level sorting, as well as single uh, ascending, descending, both single column. Then we did the filtering. We did the slicer. How do we insert a slicer? How do we use the slicer? And then we converted this data into a table and inserted slicers. And then we did a advanced filter which is copying the data from the table into another place, right? In your exercises, there are a lot of sheets where you have a lot of data, large amount of data is there. Please try them out. Okay. Okay. So anything else now? Otherwise, we will 